Yad Eich Dinah Masan Anishle. This is Navajo Grandma. I wanted you to hear some of the comments that were made regarding our videos on survival. The first one is Fox Mulder saying that um, we needed to add a magnifying glass to remember that. And I like that because we, this put, has put on our thinking cap. And it, it was just impressive that you're thinking about this. And also Amy Teal 5379 says, there's nothing like the radiating heat from a wood fire stove. I thank the Lord for mine. Feels so good against the cold outside. This one is at Star Dream Memories. And this one says, these videos are great reminders. I need to locate my magnesium fire starter. I always have many matches. It's been years, but matches are simple to waterproof. It just takes time to do so. Lighters just don't last very long. We can serve so much in my home. We don't keep a pilot light on for our cook stove. In my own opinion, being thrifty is also a survival skill. That was a great comment. There's another one. At David Flanagan 1653. And he says, Hello, Grandmother. I keep most of those types of the fire starters. I also always have a few 20-minute road flares. They will light anything that will burn. Then the, the next comment is by Ute JK Bimcell 4777. He says, Easy way to make a fire starter, which can be kindled by matches or a lighter, and burns a long time. Collect empty toilet paper rolls, old newspaper and candle butts. Fill the rolls with crumpled paper. Let one light let one end look out of the roll. Melt the wax, submerge the filled rolls into the melted wax till they are saturated. Take them out and dry them. Instead of candle butts, you can also use oil or plant oil fat but then you have to store them out of the reach of animals, bears, dogs, and bugs. Light the fire starter and the end and put your firewood over it. Though I live in Germany, I always have a fire starter kit with me in my car and my trekking rucksack. One never knows. Stay safe out there. Then the last comment I wanted to add was from at Benedita Augusto 7738. And she says in her Portuguese language, she expressed that fire is sacred. Some of these comments are the epitome of what grandma's trying to do. And I hope that you, sometimes I just want to just trash this and say, you know what, it's not worth it to keep making videos. And it seems sometimes that YouTube is not working with me and things happen. And I hope that you will pray for me that I will keep going. Um, I, it, it happens to people, I'm telling you. You wonder uh, how, you know, if you're getting through to people. And there's only a few that it seems like I'm getting through to. But all of you, thank you so much for trying to be understanding and to come and visit uh, my channel. And for, you know, I'm way, it is so bad. I seriously want to give up because I've lost like probably 1,500 views. And those analytics make you want to just turn inside out and my viewing time, all kinds of stuff. It's its almost worthless to do this. But anyways, um, for what it's worth, I am going to try to keep this up. Uh, I'm having one of those down days because I saw the analytics and it's pretty bad. So um, anyways, it's not your fault, So, but I really appreciate what comments that have come through and how important it is to care for each other and to help each other further in making sure we have our survival kits, you know, available. So, hagorn at, this is Navajo Grandma. 
Um, I will see you in the next video, hopefully. Bye.